One of the reasons um, John XXIII opened the Council, and he talks about it in the opening speech, is to find a new language to better engage the modern world. But the big question is really, have we found a new language that does engage the modern world? Paul VI talked about the sacrifice that we'd have to make of many things that we loved in our own Catholic culture as part of the um, process of adapting to the world in the 60s. Um, now we're on 50 years later, we're realizing that it's time to recuperate something of our heritage. I grew up under a generation that had been super disciplined by the Depression and by the Second World War. The church, too, had many elements from that um, 20th, early 20th century world which was highly uh, disciplined, rather militaristic in its approach to everything. So my generation and the people a bit older than I am reacted love and joy and peace became the great passwords and, and they were in reaction to our parents' generation. And I think that the, the revolution inside the Catholic Church was on the part of the clergy, not so much the laity. And so they threw off their habits, threw off their rules, a lot of them went to live in private houses. The younger generation doesn't really seem to be much interested in that formula. Young people who have grown up with parents who have lived more freely, let's say, have in many ways suffered as a result. They've suffered instability. Very often they've had parents whose marriages have broken up. So you've got a generation now that's looking for more commitment and um, greater certitude, and strangely enough, more, more discipline and clearer teachings. Modernity now for young people is old-fashioned. They can cope with the more challenging liturgy of our Roman tradition. The Old Mass and the Latin of the Old Mass helps both the priest and the laity understand a lot more, I think, about the theology of the Church right back to the, to the third century. I think we're really at a new a turning point again. The younger generation of priests and seminarians are looking for their own traditions because they need them. The church has to really move with the times and realize that its people, and especially its young people, are much more sophisticated than they used to be. And they're looking for something of a higher level. And I think that is connected with finding the great tradition and richness of the, the, the last 2,000 years. <laughs>